So are probiotic supplements a scam? Yep, pretty much. However, Consumer Lab just went and tested some of the most popular probiotics that are on the market, and some of them were actually recommended, and yeah, some of them were totally a scam. I'm gonna go over the results and which ones were the most accurate and which ones were lying liars. First and foremost, everyone in the United States needs to fix their gut microbiome, okay? That is all the bacteria that lives in your stomach, and you need trillions of it. Like, the more bacteria you have in your stomach, the more you're gonna be able to prevent chronic disease and cancer, okay? However, our diets here in the United States, they suck. And as a result, our gut microbiome gets basically destroyed by all the microplastics we're constantly consuming and by not feeding our gut bacteria what it wants to eat. So by adding more bacteria, as well as eating healthy, you can rebuild your gut microbiome. The best way to do this is by eating a probiotic rich diet. That means lots of foods that have tons of natural bacterial strains in it. However, we could all benefit from taking a probiotic supplement. Consumer Lab tested 21 popular probiotic supplements. Of the 21 that they tested, there were five that were lying liars, okay? Probiotics are not regulated by the FDA, and this means that like nobody is checking to ensure accurate labeling. And there have been issues in the past where probiotic supplements basically are completely ineffective and there's no real probiotic strains on the inside, but there have been cases of children actually getting sick from probiotic supplements that their parents were feeding them. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're not just taking anything out there, okay? So Consumer Lab found that there was one probiotic pendulum metabolic daily they only had five percent of the bacterial strains that they claimed to have on the outside of the label y'all that is pretty crazy and what's even crazier is that they actually had the least amount advertised versus everybody else you want to have bacteria that's in the billions if not trillions right within each capsule this one was only even advertising 300 million and they ended up only having five percent of that which is really really low there were other ones that were also super inaccurate okay like life extension gi with phage phage technology they only had around 73 percent of the bacteria that they claimed to have swanson dr stephen langer's ultimate strain that tested all over the place and one of the most popular probiotics of all time seed straight up these guys only had nine percent of the bacterial strains that they claimed to have on the label. And so here are their top picks for probiotics. These ones were by far the most accurate in their labeling, and they also had no contaminants, and they also broke down and dissolved easily, meaning that when you take these probiotic supplements, they're actually going to do what they claim to do.